Welcome back to the channel friends, it is great to be here and I hope you're doing well. Today we are going to be spending a little bit of time with a game called When the Light Dies. And When the Light Dies is a game that I would classify as a top-down dark survival shooter with roguelike elements. It's a game that's currently in early access right now. The development team reached out and gave me a free copy, so thank you so much development team. I really do appreciate it. And I think what you're going to find about this game is it's a lot of fun. Right? It will certainly test you, it's certainly not an easy game, but it is pretty straightforward and the core mechanics I think you will learn a lot of as we kind of go through here today. So essentially what you're doing is you are going on survival runs. Once those survival runs complete, you are getting this currency here. The currency is used to upgrade the metagame and upgrade your character as well. And I think this game has a lot of promise. So let's just hop right on into a new run here. And it all starts with your character selection. So right now we only have the captain available. So we'll use the captain. And then we also have to select our starting weapon. So our starting weapon is the pistol. But there's a few other options here that can be unlocked with currency. Right? So you see the shotgun here. We could unlock it. I'm not going to do that quite yet. We'll just do a basic run with the pistol. And I will show you the core mechanics of the game. So let's hop right on in. We're going to do survive the night. Uh, difficulty is default, so higher difficulties called madness levels are unlocked by surviving the night. So that means you have to complete the wave, right? And a night can consists of three stages, each with five enemy waves and a boss wave. And you will see that uh, there's many different levels here, right? So we have our, our health bar, just real quick, we have our health bar, we have our stamina bar, we have our sanity bar, and we have our temperature. So these are the four key things that you are managing through. And, uh, you know, these all affect you in different ways. So if your temperature gets too low, you actually start taking damage and you uh, perform action slower. Your sanity keeps you... Uh, basically, the higher your sanity is, the less complex enemies you, you will face. So you, you want to kind of keep that high, otherwise you're going to get swarmed by really difficult enemies. You have stamina, so stamina is used to run and scavenge, light campfires, etc, etc. And then health is obviously your health. If that runs out, you're dead. So, let's start things off here. It's pretty basic. You use Wasta to move, right? And then Shift. If you hold down Shift, you can run. But then of course, that depletes stamina. And then what you're going to find is we can scavenge these treasure chests here for an item. So, Jin will increase temperature by 20%, but also decreases your precision and crit chance. So, we will take the Jin into our inventory here. We don't have to use it. I mean, it'll certainly come in handy. So we are being swarmed by rats here. Let's just take them out. Obviously, we don't want them to get to us. Then they will start doing damage to us. And we are collecting those little blue orbs that I'm, I'm sure you saw. And once you c collect enough of them, you will actually get a level up. So a level up will obviously upgrade your character. And you have s some different choices here. So we are going to... Let's see. So temporarily increase the character's damage and fire rate modifier by 50% for 10 seconds. Damage and fire rate. Yeah, let's do that. So you can see that that is a skill down there, right? Right here. So that's a skill that, that we can toggle on and off. I believe there's a, a, a cooldown effect that comes into place. So you don't always get new skills when you level up. Um, most of the time you are getting stuff that just upgrades your overall stats. So experience gain, movement speed, and piercing increase by one, damage decrease by... And it, it appears as if these are in different tiers, like bronze. This must be a gold tier, so let's go with this. I mean, piercing is nice because your bullets will pierce through the enemy, as you're seeing here. So it looks like we have a little bit of variety, and I'm gonna go ahead and use my special skill there. So fast draw, fire rate increased by 20%. We'll certainly take that. Obviously, fire rate is, is how fast you're actually able to shoot. And we are going to use a little bit of dodging and weaving here. It's all about kind of the vector that you're using to attack the enemy. You don't want to be surrounded. It's good to, to stay mobile. So learned experience gain increased by 10%. Yeah, we'll certainly take that. And then as you can see, our temperature is beginning to fall. We're at 53%. So what we want to do is we certainly want to get to a campfire and light it up. Evasion increased by 7%. When killing an enemy, there's a 5% chance to recover 5 health. Let's, let's do the evasion. I like that. And let's light the campfire here. Get our temperature back up. 
and then I will actually turn off my lantern so an element is your lantern that will create light around you obviously if you're around a campfire I don't believe it's wise to really use your lantern because of course that's another thing that runs out right I'm gonna go with heavy bullets here let's get our damage up so you can toggle your lantern on and off with the F key and like I said you are battling so many different elements in, in, in this game so our sanity is starting to dip just a little bit. Our stamina is low because we're running around. Reloading time decreased by 10%. We'll certainly take that. And really, the, the name of the game here is to survive all of these waves and ultimately defeat the boss. So faster off. Fire rate increased. Vampirism. Let's do fast draw. Let's use our skill there. And it might seem easy at first, but let me tell you, let me tell you folks, it's, this game gets, uh, pretty challenging. You don't want to get munched up on by rats. So we're going to hang out by this campfire here, and eventually what you're going to have to do is you'll have to relocate, right? So there's loot boxes and campfires and other things kind of littered throughout the map that you have to uncover because this campfire will certainly burn out right and once it burns out we're gonna have to relocate in fact it's burning out now so why don't we uh take to the west here and see if we can't find something so our body temp is good but of course that is something that will fleet as well our sanity is at an all-time low in fact, we are probably insane at this point. And you see what happens. The enemies get a little more complex here. Punishing shot. Critical damage increase. Let's see. Critical chance. I, I like the idea of crit chance. All right, hearty constitution, max health, okay. Uh, yeah, let's do max health. We also get a little bit of a health restore there as well. Let's see if we can shoot this gap and continue to explore. We really, frankly, I mean, we just, we need to find another campfire spot or a loot box or something. Our body temp is starting to become a concern as well. And once you get cold enough, you will literally begin to slowly die. So we're going to go ahead and drink our gin there to restore our body temperature. And we do have a scavenge box here that I'm going to check out, but we have to kind of clear out the enemies first. Extra shot chance by 3%, defense by 5, crit damage by 20. Let's do crit damage. Alright, so we are kind of going... Ring around the rosy here. Movement speed. I, I do like movement speed. Let's see if we can collect these experience bonuses. Just keep stacking level ups. A hearty constitution. Damage increase by 10%. Yeah, let's do the damage increase. So I'm excited to uh, kind of check out some of the other weapons as well. So obviously we, we have the shotgun, right? I'll definitely get that unlocked and it looks like the wave is cleared up for now so let's uh get this loot box here heavy bullets experience gain let's go with heavy bullets love the idea of doing more damage and what do we have we have ride or die recover one sanity per page while reading this book okay there's no sanity to be had we are literally wandering around in the dark right now All right, we have to find, there's gotta be something. So we are starting to take damage and that is because we are frozen. Is this a campfire here? That would be absolutely huge. It's not, it's just a rock. Okay, we gotta keep going, twin shot, yes. So now we're gonna be shooting twice, right? And that's useful stuff. We are taking 
slow damage. We are clinically insane. We have no stamina. It's not looking good for the captain here. <laughs> I wish there was some kind of indicator where campfires were, right? Maybe that is a metagame function. We'll certainly see. Critical chance by 7.5%. Absolutely. So you will, uh, you will constantly be challenged in this game, like, do you keep moving, do you stand pat, do you uh, spend time getting your uh, experience increases, right? Just a lot of different choices to make in quick fashion here. Alright, so we're literally frozen. No campfire to be found. We can turn on our lantern, I guess I forgot I still had oil left in that. We have a blizzard right now. So, yeah, it's not looking good for our character here. Hopefully, we can spend some currency and have a little bit better luck in another run. So, we are toast. We are dead. Here's our stats, right? 218 rats. Three damage taken in total from them. So, we get 90 teeth here. And what we can do is we can, of course, go back to the main menu and let's, let's unlock a few things. So, four upgrades... So this is the metagame, right? So there are these different constellations that you can unlock. I haven't interacted with this too much. So let's just do the ranger here. The ranger directs wanderers to sources of light and sustenance. That sounds exactly like what we need. So let's get it unlocked. Okay, so here we go. Wayfinding, campfire one. Unlock a wayfinding icon that points to the nearest campfire. Uh, yeah, that sounds exactly like what we need. Campfire two, unlock a second wayfinding icon. Okay, so that's going to start taking eyes that we don't have. Resources, uh, yes. Resources too. Okay, we don't have that. Alright, so we need some eyeballs to really maximize on this one, but I think these will certainly be useful to us, the two that we got there. So let's go to the merchant as well. We can unlock this. So let's do it. Extra pockets. Unlocks a second inventory slot. Uh, yes. Absolutely. Uh, preparation body. Start each run with water. Uh, that sounds useful, but costs eyeballs. So it looks like we're kind of... Yeah, because everything else is going to start requiring these eyeballs. So we need a source for the eyeball, of course. But as far as what we unlocked here, I think it's very useful. So let's go to the captain again here, and let's unlock the shotgun. Absolutely. So let's go into another run with the shoddy. Let's go. And let's see, this kind of wayfinding, right? Let's see how this does for us. Whiskey. Uh, yes, we'll take that. So it looks like we have these little icons here and gin. All right, so we're all boozed up here. The shoddy uh, starts with a spread shot, as you would anticipate. Does good damage at close range, as you would also anticipate. Restore two stamina per second. Restore two temperature per second or two health per second. Okay. So we're going to get some regen going on. Um, I think temperature kind of becomes the biggest... At least in my experience, temperature becomes the, the biggest factor. Although we are using a shotgun which requires stamina. I'm actually going to go with the stamina. Just to keep our stamina nice and high, I think if you run out of stamina, you cannot shoot your, your gun anymore. A reloading time decreased by 20%. Yeah, we're all over that. That sounds perfect for us. All right, we got these little squishies. These little Eye of Cthulhu looking dudes. Tactician, active ability cooldown reduced by 3%. That is a passive ability, right? I believe. Um, maybe it's not. Cost 2 sanity per second. Okay, got it. A fire rate increased. Let's get a little piercing on our shoddy here. Okay, so those skills do cost sanity to use. Interesting. Alright, movement speed. We have another gold here. Bullet duration increased by 30%. So I believe that's your range. Yeah. Okay. 
Who said a shotgun can't be a sniper rifle, right? Killing an enemy with the last bullet recovered five sanity. I think it's a good way to keep our sanity high, so let's definitely do that. I'm worried about the sanity of the captain here, folks. Wandering around in the desert. A another range increase. I'll take it. I'd like to get our fire rate up as well. So there's another campfire down here. So that's good. We can move down in that direction. So it's nice to have uh, two campfires in close proximity. That's very nice. Uh, experience gained fire rate. Yep, definitely want the fire rate up. So after this wave, I think I will light up that campfire. Critical chance, max health. Let's go with max health. All right, so our temperature, our body temp is bad here. Uh, so we got to get that fixed up. Do we want the fire rate or the reloading time? Let's go with the reload time. Let's get a little stamina increase as well. Let's get this campfire lit up. Experience gain. Reload time. Let's turn off the lantern. We know our next campfire, and it looks like there's a supply down there as well. So let's just uh, camp it out right here by this campfire. Looks like we have another supply this way as well. So I like that feature. Makes it feel like you're not just wandering around in, in the darkness, right? Let's keep our stamina re regenerating here as well. Bullet duration by another 20%. How about damage increase? Could certainly use some more damage. So do let me know how you're liking this game on the overall channel. Fire rate increased by 7%. Killing an en enemy, there's a 5% chance to recover 10 health. Let's do that. Sounds great. Alright, so our campfire is dying. We're going to be looking to relocate here. But yeah, do, uh, do let me know, please, how you're liking this game. And if you want to see more of it. It's definitely a game I'm going to be keeping my eye on. It, it's just a, it, it's a fun game. I'm, ha I'm having a blast with it so far. As I'm blasting my shotgun, right? Taking some massive damage here. Alright, defense up. Twin shot, plus one projectile. That sounds like exactly what we need here. There's a supply crate. We'll definitely need to get that. Gotta get this campfire lit up though quick. All right, another level up here. Max health plus 40. Wow. Uh, yeah, that's absolutely what we needed. Sometimes the game just hooks you up in a big way, I suppose. So obviously, you, you can't shoot when you're lighting a campfire, so... You gotta be strategic when you're, uh... When you're doing actions on the map. Another, uh, projectile. Absolutely. We got the true shotgun effect now. And let's take a look at what is in this supply crate here. Just want to understand what we have available to us here. All right, so we have lantern oil, gin, and rum. Okay. These are all good things. So I think what we can do is let's post it up by this campfire here. And then let's move in this direction. We can use uh, the booze to keep the body temp up. And then obviously grab the, the lantern oil here. In fact, where is our lantern at? I, w I wish they'd show ya. Like, you're at 30%, right? So 
So let's let's fight by the overall campfire here. Let's keep getting level ups. Let's keep just busting up these rats. Let's keep our stamina regenerating. So we're completely out of stamina and I'm still able to shoot. That's nice. Ability radius increased by 15%. So if you have an ability that actually attacks, like sometimes you can get a grenade I've seen, that will increase the blast radius essentially. Mental connection. Cover 5 sanity. Our sanity is doing great actually. How about crit chance by 10%? That sounds perfect to me. Alright, so let's get the lantern back on. Uh, piercing damage, twin shot again. Let's get our lantern back on, although... This is definitely another another thing that just slowly whittles away, right? Lots of things just whittle away in this game. Your sanity, your stamina, your health, your lantern oil. All scary things. Hardy constitution. Yeah, I, I love the idea of that. So let's see, sometimes you can... Yeah, so you can consume right from the crate here. So we're definitely going to do that. Get our lantern filled back up. And then I think our body temp is still doing pretty good. So we can actually kind of just post it up here. We have a blizzard arriving in 10 seconds. So obviously it's going to get cold. Looks like there's another crate down this way. So we'll probably head down this way. But we have to stave off this blizzard. And enough booze is in this crate here to help us do that. So let's go ahead and use the whiskey. Looks like we're still taking damage, huh? All right, let's go down this way then. Let's regen some stamina. Yeah, it looks like... So there's a campfire as well. So we'll definitely want to head in that direction. More lantern oil. That's real nice. I think I'll, I will replace the gin with that. I think that's a smart thing to do. Looks like we have a, a chest. We're going for the campfire, though. Alright, so we did survive the blizzard, and now we have... Looks like these squid-like guys coming after us. Terrifying stuff. They seem to have uh, special powers. Alright, here's the campfire. Very, very nice. Alright. Want to give those guys some space when they charge up at ya and then just blast them with your shotgun all right punishing shot crit damage experience gain piercing bullet speed and damage down but it does pierce let's do crit damage all right Definitely want to look at some supply crates, but it'd be nice to find a way to restore our health. Looks like we have another campfire down south, along with the chest. Our stamina is refilling now that we're not moving. We're feeling good. Let's just take a moment to restore ourselves. I said ourselves as if there's somebody else out here with us. There is not, folks. We are all alone. All right, lantern on. All right, we're going to head south. There's a box. There's a campfire. Good stuff. Fire rates. Alright, so we have a box over here. Definitely going to take a peek at this. I think our lantern oil is doing pretty good. Sometimes you can get things that restore your health in these boxes. That's obviously what we're looking at here. Looks like we have some of these green orbs over here as well. I think those are probably more experience. Alright. Uh, piercing, evasion, crit chance. Let's do crit chance. 
All right, what do we have? We have an apple. This is tremendous. The question is, do we do do we use it right now? Let's go ahead and use the rum and save the apple. We're doing pretty good on uh, HP right now. Feels like it's a bit wasteful. So I'm going for these green orbs here. It's probably an experience increase. Yeah, you can see the experience bar down here at the bottom. And let's head toward the campfire. Alright. Punishing shot, a defense. Let's do crit damage. Alright, let's grab this experience and head toward the campfire. Kind of feels like our lantern is running out. Looks like there's another crate as well. Okay, we have a campfire though. So we're going to get this lit up here. Looks like we have a boss wave next. Another campfire in a box, but it's it feels like it's kind of far away. Let's use our lantern oil here, and this must be the boss. We got we got a real big boy here. I of course do have the apple. We can use that when needed, but yeah, eat it, boss. Let's go. Okay, so once he gets on you, he does do some damage for sure. Let's see how much punishment can this fellow take. Alright, we have the apple to fall back on. Definitely probably have to do that. Looks like he's laying eggs as well. Alright, so if he's going to stick with me here. Our sanity is just toast. A uh, twin shot. Yeah, let's do it. Our health is still looking pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Got to get to that campfire. All right, let's go. Let's toast them. Man, this guy can take some punishment, that's for sure. I'm not seeing like a, a, a health bar on the boss. All right, so down he goes and we do uh, secure some eyeballs there. Very nice. All right, so that is a successful run, right? Very nice. Killed something like what? 550 or so bad guys, if you will. Secured 300 teeth and 30 eyeballs. Very nice. Alright, so it, it goes a lot better when you have some of the metagame stuff unlocked, right? Tremendous. Okay, so you can continue on, it looks like. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we have in our little, uh... Okay, so you basically pick up right where you left off. And I don't know if this is, like, the next difficulty level or something. Whispers from the beyond. And then we have... Whiskey. Okay. So it looks like we have, uh... Other types of, uh, enemies here. In other types of loot boxes as well, it looks like.
All right, another level up. A uh, hardy constitution. Let's add another projectile here. Nice, nice spread shot there. I feel like I have the uh, the spread gun from Contra. Get back! All right, area expansion, uh, critical chance, yeah. All right, let's get this campfire lit up here. Turn the lantern off. We still have the apple to fall back on. I'm hoping I can get some more eyeballs. Yeah, so we did. We gained some eyeballs there. Very nice. All right, so we have some time at this campfire here. Uh, where would our next move be? So there's a campfire and a loot box up this way. So I think we head in this direction. I like that you can just continue on with the, with the character you've already built, right? They don't require you to, to start over. All right, we're going to ditch this place for sure. Experience gain, fire rates. I feel like our damage leaves a lot to be desired. So we're going to relocate here. All right, so there's our little barrel. Probably want to get this quick just to see what's in there. Still got some lantern. We're going to need to find some time to scavenge that. Uh, reload time, max health. All right, whispers from the beyond. We already had that. Rum. We could certainly use that. Okay, so that really hurt. Let's go to the campfire. Turn off the lantern. Alright, so we got another campfire to the east. Got a lot of experience sitting up here. Let's see if I can get this. Alright, fire rate increased by 15%. We also have move speed here. I mean, 15%, but damage does go down. Let's do it. I mean, 15% is too much to say no to. You can see that, that fire rate making a difference. All right, so we're going to have to start relocating to the east here. Pop on the old lantern. Right, the old Coleman. And let's get to the other campfire here. Let's go. Let's light this thing up. For the sake of our sanity and body temp. Alright, so there's another campfire to the east. 
There's also something to loot to the south. Alright, so there is an active blizzard right now. Okay. Looks like we have a... Is this like a mini boss? Wow, these guys are really tough. All right, we gotta get we gotta get moving here. Didn't realize there's a rat on me munching away. Yeah, we gotta get moving. I gotta get to that next campfire. Uh, killing an enemy. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that one. I do have my apple at the ready. If I need to use it. All right, looking good. The campfire does save lives here, folks. Feeling nice and confident now. Oh, uh, there's a loot box there. Do we go for it? Maybe. But I'm going to enjoy this nice warm campfire here for a moment. We definitely got to get our damage up. Feels like we're just not hitting hard enough. And we are being zeroed in on in a pretty big way here. New enemies all over the place. All right, we have gin. Do we need it? I'll take it over this. I think our sanity is actually doing pretty good. And you guessed it, we're going to relocate here. All right, sleight of hand, reloading time. Let's do that. My goodness. All right, so I had to use the apple there. Those guys are no joke. Those little, like, zombie-looking dudes. Those guys are no joke. All right, our sanity's toast. And, man, are we being swarmed here. All right, I got to get to that campfire and get it lit up. For the sake of everything, for the sake of the run, let's go. All right, uh, damage increased. Yes. All right, perfect. Somehow we managed to uh, pull that off. I thought I was dead there for a second. We got these big guys. They move slow, but boy, are they tanky. All right, so we do have a boss wave here. Let's do our best. All right, what boss do we have now? So I'm going to see if I can work in like a big circle here. All right, so we got another one of these guys. Uh, tense Sanity. Yeah, I think we could use this now. All right, we got to get to another campfire. Let's go. Got to watch my body temp. I've got booze at the ready. Can just take a quick little pull off the old flask here. Do I go for the, 
the scavengeable first, maybe. Maybe I can get some lantern fuel. All right. Feels like we're wandering around in the dark here, which, I mean, we are. <laughs> There's another campfire up here. All right. This is where we're going then. So the more you run, the, the more the boss does gain power, it looks like. We don't really have a choice, though. All right, whiskey or rum? All right. So body temp's looking good. Let's get the campfire lit up. Let's go. All right, good. Let's just focus fire on this ugly mess of tentacles here. Alright, as far as our next move goes, it's going to be, uh, southeast. I think the outpost has been compromised here, folks. Let's relocate it. The boss is going to just hand feed himself to us, so that's nice. That's nice. Alright, another level up here. Take the evasion buff. All right, we got a mess of units here around our campfire. How dare you? You were not invited to the party, man. Definitely want to stay mobile. Big circles seem to be a pretty effective tactic here. All right, our next move will be south. I do believe. Let's keep pounding the boss here. I guess I'm just glad it's not spiders. Not a huge fan, right? Maybe I'm foreshadowing. I, I don't know. All right, another campfire lit up here. Let's go. All right, the boss goes down. Lovely stuff. What a grind. What a battle. All right, so stage two of three is clear. Okay, so we have to do three of three, it looks like. But nice, we got some pulsating hearts in that one. 39 of them. All right, let's see if we can take it across the finish line. Let's go. Continue. All right, so we have a bit of a different landscape here. Lantern oil. Yeah, we need that. Be grabbing that. In fact, we can, we can light this guy up right here. So we got some booze in, in, in these right here. The 
Let's see if we can uh, maximize damage, if possible. I feel like we're just not quite hitting for enough. Especially to take down these big tanky guys. Right? All right, next campfire is to the north. I think it's it's okay to just leave the booze behind. Booze, is, booze are fairly common, at least as far as what I've seen. All right, another campfire. Let's get it lit up. like we have a chest off here to the west. Might want to go and search that out. We'll certainly see. All right. Fast draw. Long shot. Reloading time decreased. All right. So... Let's relocate. So we have a barrel up here. Hopefully this is something decent. Gin and whiskey. Really not what we need, if I'm being honest. So let's go uh, southwest. So there's something useful in, in this crate here. We're going to find out. Let's keep at it here. Let's keep at it. Critical chance by 10%. Certainly take that. Crits are damaging. All right, looking good, looking good. Let's go up and get that crate and then get to the Southwest. So I can see, well, so I can get the benefits of a campfire. Let's use our whiskey here. And let's scavenge this chest. Gin. Okay, we'll take it. Looks like we have another crate over here. Seems to be pretty close. Maybe I should look into that first. And then go to the campfire. All right, crates. What do we have? A bunch of stuff. So let's consume the rum because we are cold. Might as well double down. Rum and gin. Let's... Let's consume the lantern fuel as well. All right, now, down to the campfire. Let's go. Let's 
Although these guys are nice and bunched up. Might as well take them all out, grab some experience as well. All right, heavy bullets. Damage increased by 15%. That's exactly what we need. All right, so we have another crate down here and another campfire. I think that's the next sensible direction to go. Got a blizzard inbound. Man, I'd love to find out what, what the uh, machine gun does, right? The shotgun's pretty, pretty strong. I like how it spreads out. Obviously, it's been uh, working well for us here in this particular one. But machine gun, right? Alright, relocating down to the next campfire here. Alright, let's check out this uh, crate box here well let's do that once the threat has been nullified a little more All right, another level up. Uh, crit chance. I mean, that's that's a pretty tough one to turn down. All right, let's check out the crate. Hopefully, there's something real good in here. Keep dishing it on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Get out of here, man. Come on, man. I, I just want to scavenge a crate. Like, give me a break. Five sanity per page. Okay, otherwise we have whiskey, so obviously we want the lantern oil. I mean, I think my sanity does pretty good as long as I can stay around the, the campfire, right? But we are also getting a bit chilly, so let's grab this and let's consume the whiskey. Stay nice and warm and then relocate to a new campfire location. So we have one to the south. Let's go. All right, so uh, boss wave in inbound here. Be nice to get to the campfire here quick. All right, so we're here. Let's regenerate some stamina for the pending fight. Let's go. We got this guy again, of course. All right, level up. Max health. I'm going to go with the reload time. Got 
Alright, gotta stay by the campfire here for as long as we can. And I'm going... I'm going west. All right, let's go west to the next campfire. Let's go. Looks like there's a box there as well. Very nice. This is my campfire, this is my party, and y'all aren't invited. Alright, so we have piercing damage. Let's go with constitution. I think if I had the pistol, we'd be in big trouble here, folks. Alright, next campfire here to the west again. So let's keep traveling. I like the knockback on the shotgun as well. Very useful stuff. Okay, so the boss just did a radical amount of damage on me. Alright, let's stay good, let's stay alive. The more enemies we kill the with vampirism, right? We're actually restoring our, our health. So you gotta stay on the old trigger finger, right? All right, we have to plan our next move here. Uh, Hardy Constitution, yeah, we'll be taking that for sure. Let's go south. Let's see if we can get this uh, this big boy down. Vampirism, come on. Do your thing. Let's go. All right, things are getting dire here. Didn't realize I had my lantern off. Yeah. 
Ah, oh, man. The light has died, and, and so have we, frankly. That's, uh, that's really unfortunate. Thought I was going to take that one across the finish line, but what do you do? What do you do? Let's pop back to the main menu here, folks. That was uh, pretty intense at the end there. I feel like we almost had him. Positioning was bad. All right, so we do have a nice little stockpile of some of these resources here. I think the first thing I want to take a look at is... How about the machine gun? 100 eyeballs. I mean, we get the machine gun, right? Definitely got to get the machine gun. And then 200 eyeballs for the repeater. Let's just hold off on that for a while. Let's look at what upgrades are available. Unlock a second wayfinding icon. I mean, this... It, it's literally a lifesaver. So let's spend some currency on that. Unlock a temperature gauge that displays the current temp. And then we have uh, Campfire 3... Let's take a look at some of this other stuff here. Unlock a third inventory slot that feels useful. So let's do it. Start each run with an excellent book. Unlock a fourth inventory slot. Start each run with water. These other ones are locked. How about the Ancient God? Let's do it. Unlock a second ability slot. Yep, I like that. And a third. Allows an ability to be pinned when leveling up. Pinned abilities will always remain if not chosen. Okay. That seems pretty good. Let's take a look at the Night Owl here. Uh, 60 eyeballs. Allows abilities to be improved when leveling up. Uh, that sounds very, very useful. And we can't unlock the Humpback Whale yet. Okay, so, what else do we have? Start each run with water. Uh, we can't afford that, actually. Yeah, we're uh, running low on eyeballs here. Yeah, we're pretty much uh, tapped out on eyeballs. That's alright. So, folks, that is When the Light Dies. I sure hope you enjoyed the gameplay preview. It is a very fun game. Um, really looking forward to kind of seeing how it evolves. I think it has a lot of potential, right? If we think of additional characters, right? If we think of additional weapons, right? So different characters have different weapon sets. Reminds me of like a Resident Evil, like survival, right? Where you go, I forget what, uh, Mercenaries, I think it's called, right? Obviously, it's top down, but... It kind of reminds me of that, right? You choose a different character, you get a different weapon kit. And obviously, the, the metagame seems to be pretty involved here. You need a lot of resources to kind of get it all unlocked. But that is part of the replayability factor of this game for sure. I enjoyed my playthrough of this game. Um, please let me know on the channel. right? Let me know in the comment section if you also enjoyed it. I can certainly do a few more runs if this is something that you folks enjoy. You just got to let me know. So that is When the Light Dies. If you want to get a copy for yourself, it's in early access on Steam. You can search it or just go into the video description. I've got a link right there for you. So thanks for taking a little bit of time to hang out and check out a new game, folks. I really do appreciate it. Stay tuned to the channel for plenty more content. If you're enjoying this type of content, please consider helping a small channel like mine grow by becoming a subscriber. Please also give the video a like if you thought I did a good job. So with that said, folks, I'm getting on out of here. Thank you so much. Stay tuned, and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks a lot.